Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use GitHub within Jira. There is value in integrating and utilizing GitHub from within the world of Jira. I'm going to be showing you the three main things that you can be doing, which are making branches, making commits, and doing pull requests from either within Jira or within GitHub, but in any case, we're gonna integrate them and show you how you can jump between the two interfaces by doing a couple of simple things. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you drop a like if you get any value, and if there's any questions that you have about anything that I cover in this video, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into uh, Jira and a couple of other articles that I have that I'm gonna reference here to make this tutorial a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so the intended audience here are gonna be most likely developers. If you're a developer watching this video, or maybe you're a scrum master, a product owner, and your development team isn't using GitHub integrated with Jira, maybe they are on GitHub, but they just haven't integrated yet, this video is gonna be perfect for you to kind of build up a story and say, hey team, there is some value here. There's You may wanna consider integrating and connecting your GitHub with Jira. Now in a previous video, make sure you go check that one out. I've actually walked you through the steps to connect GitHub with Jira. So at this point, I have an established connection between my GitHub and my Jira. So I'm gonna show you three things. The first one's the branch. I'm gonna show you how to essentially integrate. There's a way out of the box, once you do the integration, nothing really happens. All that has occurred is that GitHub and Jira are now listening to each other and they're, they're ready to talk. But the developer needs to initiate that initial communication, right? So once they're listening, your developer has the power to now go and do some magical stuff. So the first magical thing your developer can do is when they go and create their feature branch, they're going to want to reference their Jira ticket that they're working on in their feature branch creation. So there's a couple of ways to do this. Your developer is most likely going to be at working out of the command line, working with their, their CLI interface into GitHub. Jira kind of makes it a little bit easier, right? So when they go and create a branch for that story that's been assigned to them, they just need to come into their ticket here and click on this create branch. From that, Jira is going to automatically generate the code that they need to create, that they need to have, in order to essentially go into their CLI or in, maybe they're using um, the GitHub uh, desktop application or, or maybe they're on the web like I'm gonna be in this demonstration. But regardless, they can just copy that code and then actually use it when they're creating their branch. So once they have that code, they're just gonna go over to their source code repository. I'm just gonna come over here to, to the web version and I'm going to paste the code that I just copied out of Jira and I'm going to click on this create the branch. And so when I do that, a branch is automatically going to be created for that story. So now I have a feature branch for that story. And when I jump back into Jira, you will notice that when I hit refresh, instead of it just having this little ET looking fingers with the create branch and I click on refresh, I should have now a link. It's not, it's very subtle, but I should now have a link where it says branch back to GitHub. So when I click on this, I should have a modal. It's gonna tell me the repository that I'm working out of and the branch that I'm working from. And so that is step or yeah, step number one as to how to get the two to talk to each other. From this point forward, within the world of GitHub, there's two more things that we're gonna talk about, commits and PRs or pull requests. So to do your commit in a very similar fashion, as your developer makes changes, as they introduce changes to code, the add files, whatever they're doing, all their interactions within the wonderful world of GitHub, when they're ready to commit to their code, they can come back into that Jira ticket and they could essentially do one of two things. They can either A, grab this entire commit message and then use that in, as in the, again in the command line, or all they need to do is just reference DP-27, the ticket number. So it, they can copy from here, or obviously these are highly skilled, highly paid engineers, so they should just be able to drop down DP-27 as shown in the example here. And so as long as they kind of do that, uh, I'm just actually, I'm gonna just copy the key. I'm gonna come over to GitHub 
And in my branch, I'm going to come over here to this index file, go to the file and, and essentially make a change to that file. So let me do that now by editing this file. I'm just going to add a simple, uh, within the HTML, I'm going to add a body and I'm going to close the body. All right, super simple change, nothing, nothing too drastic. But in here, I'm going to say added code for future body. Right. But at the beginning, what I'm going to do at the beginning, is I'm just going to paste in that key so that it's in the commit message. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to commit my changes and they're going to go into that branch that I was in. And so when I come back to Jira, same thing again, I'm going to hit refresh. Now I should see the branch and my commit here. And you can tell when it was last made. And again, very similarly to the feature branch, I can actually open it. I can see the file from here so I can see which file was changed. I can then no, understand that two lines were added and so I can open it as long as you have an account it'll take you to the file itself you can also see the commit itself and this is more of a uh, a view of the changes so you can see hey look these two lines two and three were added if anything was deleted you would see that so a lot of a lot of connections here a lot of integrations with your Jira and GitHub and, and that okay basically allows you to see okay what actually did get changed and and where, what should we be looking for when there's like problems? Now, the last thing that you can do here is the pull request. So you can create a pull request from within Jira this way. You can create a pull request within your branch here or within GitHub itself, you can initiate your pull request there. So I'm just gonna come in and create a, a pull request uh, here just to see how it works. You'll see that it'll automatically put in like the name of everything that I'm creating and I'm gonna be merging back into master this is my comment of I made this file that I want available. Obviously, this would be this is a really horrible example, but your team would be going through their Git process to essentially handle PRs. But the point that I want you to see is when I do create the PR, I want to see it over here in Jira. So when I refresh my development, you'll be able to see that I have a pull request that's open. Right. And so I can go to it. Similar story. I can see that it's an open status. I can see who the author is, who the reviewers are. So this is kind of critical because you should always should always have some sort of a peer review process. So this will show you who's who's on the hook for reviewing them. But then when I actually have my PR merged, so I'm just going to come back into Jira and merge that pull request and come from that merge. The, the status will change to merged. And so back in Jira, I will be able to come over here and see over here on the right side that the status is merged. So that's pretty much it from the integration. Now, what we can do, some other options that we have, let me know if, if you find value in these because if, if I get a good amount of likes and some comments, I'll definitely make some videos on this. But once you have this integration happening so that you at least have visibility from Jira into GitHub, what you can now do is you can put some automation in Jira. So when your developer creates the branch, we can trigger it so that Jira automatically updates the status because you'll notice that the status is still in to do. Even though I'm technically done with this code, my status is didn't get changed to like in progress. And so you can create automation in Jira. And again, let me know if, you, if there's value in that. I'd love to make a video for you. But when your developer creates the branch, we can have Jira automatically update the uh, status to in progress. When the PR is opened, we can automatically have the status changed to in review. And when the PR is merged, right, when it goes to this merge status, we can then uh, furthermore have the, the status changed to done. And so these can be interactions with the statuses of Jira that can automatically be updated on your behalf. And this is really key because developers don't like updating Jira for the most part asterisks right and so if you're having uh, if you're finding yourself in a situation where your developers are forgetting to update their statuses in jira but obviously they're creating code and committing and doing prs and all that good stuff build some automation so that you can actually have jira follow the story follow along and give scrum masters or other stakeholders in your organization visibility to what's happening from the jira side when maybe they're not looking into GitHub to actually see the real statuses. So keep those two in sync and hopefully you found some value. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop a like if you like the video and if you have any questions and or you wanna let me know, hey Alex, go make those automation videos. I wanna see how to do it. 
let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to get those made for you and published. So anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.